Afternoon, everybody. I uh, hope you had a good bank holiday weekend if you're in the UK, and um, if you're not in the UK, then I just hope you had a good weekend. There's a few things I wanted to show you. This is going to be um, a video for YouTube. A couple of things, sorry. Um, you've got the filtering and sorting of the fixture feed with the new quick filters tool. Just wanted to do a bit more of um, a more detailed video on that. I've improved the UI a little bit now. Uh, thanks to some feedback and you can also sort the fixture feed by any of the stats that you choose so I'll just show you how that works and then the next thing I'll show you is a updated referee page I'm still working on that but one of the updates I've pushed today is, is worth mentioning um, you can now see the combined total of stats for the referees so it'll be sort of the last couple of seasons um, of data for some referees which is probably what you're looking at or what you want to be looking at for card bets especially so um, I'll start with the fixture feed, and as I said, I've moved a few things around, tidied up the rule list um, once you start making the filter. So we'll just go in, and one of the things I always do is set this to around 10 or 11 games. So this means that both teams have played 10 games, we'll save for both. Um, and the rule list has changed a little bit, you can now edit straight from here. There was a lot of scrolling before, um, that was one of the, the, the main pieces of feedback um, once it first launched. So Happy to revert to this kind of uh, traditional list for the for the stats and the rules. Um, and one thing you'll see now is this little circle. And on the left side, you've got this sort by label. Um, and on the right, you can see that currently it's it's going to be sorted by kickoff time, which is just the, the default. Um, we can click these, but first I'm going to add in a stat and let's just go win at half time. So let's look for... 35% and we're looking at the home team here so this is going to show us teams that have played 10 or more games and have won 35% of those games by half time at least and then when you click this you'll see that up here it changes to win at half time so that means that the fixture feed is going to be sorted by this stat so the home teams that have won 35% of their games or more at half time and uh, let's look at the stat scroller and we'll change the first half goals because I believe that contains win at half time. Yes, it does. So um, the highest stat we have today is from Sweden, Stockholm International Arze. I've said that wrong. Um, it's first again against 14th. They've won 67% of games by half time. And then you can see underneath 56, 50, 50, 50, 50, uh, 50. <laughs> 48, you get the idea, it goes down in order. And you can see actually here, we've got a game in Finland. They'd won 44%, they're 3-0 up after 31 minutes. So um, true to form, this team were 1-0 at half time. Um, and that's, you know, 44%. So they'll add to that, won't they, after this game's finished. But uh, let's, let's, let's take a look at this game in, in uh, Sweden, actually. And this is just how... This shows how quick and easy it is to find little nuggets like this. I mean, the stats are obviously, uh, sorry, the odds are obviously going to be short just due to the, the stats. I mean, they've won 67% of all games by half time. That's not even looking into uh, the home games. Um, and you can see that the home team is just huge favourites with every bookmaker. The best price you're going to get is 1.13 at Bet365. Half time result, 1.38. Uh, that's not great, is it? So you might want to set an alert here, um, and that's what I will do. I'll just show you how I do that. We'll go to half, half time result, and then we can just put that to evens, um, and that's that's the way I, I do things. So they've won eighty percent of games. They've only played five at home. Overall, they've won eighty eighty three percent of their twelve games. You can see that they are a pretty good team. They're actually unbeaten. The away team is not very good on the road. Um, so that's how you sort the fixture feed uh, using the new quick filters. Um, it's pretty quick, uh, as, as the name in, implies. Um, and I'll just show you one more thing. We'll remove this rule. And if you just wanted to, if you didn't want to actually set up a rule, but you wanted to sort the fixture feed by a certain stat, you can do that as well. So scored 1.5 goals. And again, we'll just keep this to the home team. And what you can do is just put this between 0 and 100. And then once you save the rule, again, just click it so that it's sorting by that. 
and then once you search you can see here <laughs> there they are again you can see here that um, this is what it's being sorted by and uh, there they are they must be good um, let's have a look at this team they have scored over 1.5 goals in 83% of games and the away team scored over 1.5 goals in 100% of games so this is second against first in Northern Ireland we've picked a couple of belting games here um, and you can see that this is going to be some game the last fixture finished 4-1 between them and I always think um, especially with the women's football actually which this is um, teams like Paris and Lyon they just demolish everyone else, don't they? But when they play each other, it's usually 1-0 or 0-0. Nil, nil. Um, you can usually get decent odds on over 2.5 goals there, but not for this game. This game uh, doesn't even have odds yet. That's one thing I need to do, actually, at the minute. If Bet365 doesn't have odds, um, it won't show the odds comparison tool, but it's quite likely sometimes that another bookmaker might have this game on there. So, um, again, you know, you can see that this this team has already scored three. They would have um, shown up pre-match for this 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 sorting. Um, and then we've got this team as well that, you know, let's see how many times they've scored uh, over 1.5 goals. And we were looking at the overall stats, weren't we? So, in 80% of games, and, and the other team as well. So, is this, this is six against four. Um, odds are available. Yep, yeah, live odds are available. Let's have a look at... The current uh, PTCS is 1.4. We've only played 10 minutes. So I'm going to set an alert for over 2.5 goals because if both teams have scored a very decent amount of goals, which they have in all of their games, the last head-to-head -head was 4-1, 2-2, 4-0, 2-0. Although, you know, this is going back a bit. Uh, one of them must have been promoted into this league or the other just relegated into this league because the last time we played was 2015. Um, yeah, so this is um, turned into a bit of a process video, but this is how I use this. Um, now that it's on the website, and it's important to, to note that I used to just do this manually in the database, but now that it's on the website, it's easier for me to access as well. So um, in line with what AudAlerts was from day one, is it's just a tool for myself to, to find these games and to find this data. Um, and sort it and access it and set alerts quickly um, so yeah that that is the quick filter update and that is um, how it's used you can then save that filter you can go into your save filters and edit them and it'll just bring up these so if you've got a filter you want to access and then you want to just uh, sort the fixture feed by one of those rules it's really easy to do that um, I'm going to cancel that because I want to show you the referee page now and the referee page has had a bit of an update. Um, one of the things that really needed to be fixed and, and is fixed now is that it would show the referee multiple times because it was finding the referee stats and um, I hadn't got around to, to, to basically this update yet, which was merging all of the stats together. Um, so you can see that these are the games that are upcoming and have card markets available. You can use the filter and, and toggle that off if you want and it'll just show you all of the games um, all of the referees that have upcoming games attached to them but let's look at Anthony Taylor who is refereeing Sweden against Spain uh, tomorrow so you can click on him um, and on this right hand side where you would have all these leagues you've now got combined at the top and you can look at the fixtures and it'll combine all the fixtures. You can see you reft Liverpool Chelsea, but then you've also got Italy Austria from the Euros. Um, and you can just go through and check out his recent history as as if it was merged. I mean it is merged, that's that's the feature. Um so 43 games. Uh that's probably since referee stats started, but I would imagine that last year's Premier League is also in there as well. If you want me to add specific competitions, just uh, let me know on Discord um, and I'll be able to do that, or Twitter, or Telegram, or email, or carry a pigeon, um, and I'll do it, because, I mean, the date is there, uh, but you might not want his stats from, like, four years ago. I think this is a nice balance, the sort of last year and a half, um, and you can see that it's it's available for every referee, so you've got 43 games for him, you've got 39 for this Polish referee, I believe he is. Yep, you can see he's ref uh, in, in and around Poland. Last year, 21 games in Poland. 
Um, and you can just jump from combined to the other ones and it just works really nicely. Um, and as I say, this was the biggest update that I wanted to push, well, not the biggest, but the most important update I wanted to push to the referee page um, this week. And I'm thinking about an, an overall sort of design overhaul as well that, that sort of splits the referee page into different lists. Um, so you've got one for upcoming, you've got one that ranks um, the referees by both teams carded and whatnot. Um, because you can sort these, I don't know if people know this, you can actually just click on these and it will just sort the referees for you. Um, and also just the filtering in general, I want to improve it. If we go to Australia now and turn this off, we can just load that uh, and it will show us all the referees in Australia that are, are in the database. Um, no games upcoming at the minute or they're not attached. And that's the thing with the referee page is that... Um, Every league releases referee information at different times. I mean, in Germany, um, it's actually sometimes on the day, or at least it was during COVID, and now it's maybe the Friday night before all those uh, Saturday fixtures in the Bundesliga. So you've got to be on the ball. Um, but yeah, that's the referee page, and um, there's probably more referee changes coming this week. I've got a, well, I've got quite a few uh, bits of feedback noted. Um, but the referee stuff doesn't matter where you enter the game. So if we just try and find a game today, is there any qualifiers? Oh, there's qualifiers being played today. Is there a referee for this fixture? There is. And you'll be able to view his combined stats from anywhere on the site, not just the referee page. So um, just important to note that. You know, I didn't even know that these were being played today. I thought they were a little bit later in the week, but because I'm because of the bank holiday and because I'm I'm a bit late getting back to work, it is actually Wednesday already. So yeah, fair play. Um, yeah, this has been a bit of a longer video, uh, so it'll be going on YouTube. Any feedback, uh, more than welcome. Um, jump into the Discord. Um, I'll show you what that's like now. If you haven't uh, looked into it yet. This is it. Um, we've got general chat. We've got a fantasy football chat. Uh, we've got a bet of the day chat uh, where you can see people just posting. I posted a couple myself. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going well. Um, and, and, you know, people ask why um, did we make the move from Telegram? And it's, it's purely just because of these channels. You know, we can now have a channel just for live games where people um, post stats and and opportunities that they've found we can now just have a channel where people talk about fantasy football and um, post these amazing charts from uh, FB ref I think it is you know where they've, they've created their own spreadsheets and stuff based on XG we can have a general chat which is a bit more loose um, the the main issue with telegram is that it was just one single feed of chat so it was hard to keep track of things if you've got a better the day post in there as soon as it's posted, it sort of just fades into existence straight away. So um, that was the main reason. And also, I can keep track of feedback. I can I can keep track of requests in here. Um, people posting requests, and and we can have filtered discussions. We can run competitions in here. There's um, there's a lot to it. Uh, the rules are always accessible, which is good. Uh, I can just post updates in here as well, which I'll be doing soon once this video goes live. Um, but yeah, that was that was the reason. Um, and if you haven't joined yet, you can get your link from your settings page. Just go to more and then hit settings and um, it will generate you uh, your own invite link. So, yeah, enjoy. Thanks for the feedback as always. And, um, yeah, let's keep winning football bets together.